What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today I will show you this little trick with the Galahorn Sparrow or the Gala Wing or whatever the fuck you want to call it. But before we get into the video, if you guys do enjoy it, hitting that like button is very much appreciated. Let's go for 4,000 likes, that'd be absolutely insane. Okay, so this neat little trick was brought to my attention by a friend of mine. And there is kind of an Easter egg with the Gala Wings Horn. Uh, the Gala Horn. Now, me being someone who don't really pay much attention to things or pay much attention to anything, I've never actually noticed that when you press the horn on your Gala Wing, you hear the initial horn, but quite quietly in the background, you hear wolves howling. I personally have never heard this in my life, but like I said, I don't pay much attention to anything. But yes, press your horn when having the Gala Horn equipped and listen if you didn't know about this already. <laughs> this ain't a trick, there's a way to spawn in a pack of wolves howling and it's by simply spamming that horn button. When it happens it's quite clear. Now this can work on any sparrow as long as the horn you have equipped is the Galahorn. Damn, that's so confusing. But yes, guys, a neat little Easter egg. One I'm sure some people already knew about, but I never, so I thought I'd share it with you guys anyway. Okay, so the other thing I want to share with you guys in this video is the two unknown raid challenges within the year three Rise of Iron booklet. Now, I don't know about you guys, but the two unknown entries within this yearbook are the two remaining ones I have left to do, and there is no indication of what they are. Now I've always thought there'd be something related to challenge mode and hard mode within the Wrath of the Machine raid but today I'll show you guys exactly what they are and how you can see them for yourselves. Okay so within Dim, Destiny Item Manager, by far the best way to transfer shit between your characters. If you scroll down to where you find your record book, simply click on the booklet and it shows you guys the challenges what you have to do and what you've done. Now for me it's easy to see what these two main challenges are due to the fact that they're the only two I've got left to complete. So here they are, the first one is called High Speed Crush. Complete the Wrath of the Machines Siege Engine Encounter on Heroic Difficulty in under 6 minutes. Now it has a score of 360,000. Now how this works at the moment I have no idea. And the other challenge is called Medal with Metal. This is to simply complete the raid on Heroic Difficulty. So there we have it guys, the two remaining challenges to complete for your Year 3 Rise of Iron booklet. What challenges have you got left to do? Let me know down below in that comment section. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do hit that like button. I do appreciate the support. And I'll catch you guys on that next one. Always in the wrong Knowing where we stand